So, Nikayo, you've got your D&D sheet already, your character all done? Yup, I'm yeah. all done. Ready? Whoa! Oh you thought you could forget about Sandvix, guy? Daniel, look, how'd you get in here? How'd you even know we were doing Welcome Did you the- like our cold opening? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Undercast. So, we had an idea, right? And we it was, um, what if we, because we like D&D, but we also... We, li- we, we like also D&D like ourselves. ourselves. So, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> so what if we, all three of us, got, got together and just made our real life selves into D&D characters? Now, wait just a second. Okay. I don't like one of those two things. What, yourself? D&D. Oh, you no, don't I like love that? myself. <laughs> oh, so then why'd you oh, do this? I'm, I'm just memeing. I'm just memeing. Fair enough. You know what I've noticed about the set today? Bro, the bro. lights are not dimmed. Oh. I Could you do that real quick? Bro, bro. Bro. Did you just gurgle your coffee? I did. Well, can I gurgle some coffee? There's none left. Damn it. <laughs> We'd like to gurgle some coffee. Okay. All right. So. Are you going to cut out the, the whole dimming of the lights thing? No, or is that just part of it? No, this is part of it. It's part candid, of it. dude. It's part of why part people. Of the why, part of the it's part of why the 30 people that watch us love us. Right? Yep. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, uh, next, me being one of them. Next, I, I do oh, love the candidness. Next week is bring a friend to the undercast week. Is it? We have those. Yeah, uh, now we do. Now we and do. we we need our old audience back. Hey guys, bring a uh, bring a friend to the undercast and help them experience the uh, euphoric um, eargasms that you feel when watching. Every Thursday. Podcast. Every Thursday. All right. Every so we can. Thursday. This lighting still allows no, us to read. We missed like three right? weeks. Well. Okay, that's the seasons. really only big break we've taken. Besides, you know, the two-week break between season one and two. Okay, between season one and two, yes, because that was a planned break. But this one was like spring break, SAT prep, and then most of all, Noah forgot. So, uh, yeah, he, he forgot was... to edit. We had it recorded, he just forgot to edit. Life gets busy, like you said, it's SATs busy. and stuff. So, all right, who wants to start? I was just about to ask the same thing. How about you start? We'll go with start, Noah. We and, start, oh, we'll go oh, in oh, order. Also, right? shout out. To art by uh, Will. Oh yes. Go Will. follow him on Instagram. Uh, can we? Should we link his? Can we link his thing in the description? Yeah, you, you we, totally can. Will that transfer we, to Instagram? Oh we yeah. We can ask him if we can link. I, I already asked. Him. Oh, and he I said did, yeah. Yes. He yeah, said we, we can link it out on the channel. Yeah. Also, go check him out. We're gonna. He did uh, everyone but Daniel. So that's just no one. I. He yeah, did. I'm sorry. I don't think he knew Single that Daniel was gonna be on. I mean Kyle. And I, I believe the art is gonna be on our. It's gonna be on our. Instagram, Instagram page. page. So what he did was he took the concepts for our real life D and D characters, um, and made them look like us, but also as like you know within our races, our D and D races. It's really cool how he did it. He's just such a great artist. Yeah, yeah. Go check smart. him out. Hopefully we can figure out how to do like a call one day like he, where he could be on the podcast. Oh, that's That'd easy to do. Yeah, I talked to him about that. That's he easy. said he'd be I'd, down. So, I'd love to do an interview someday. That'd be awesome. Cool. We just interview him about his whole art career. Anyway, anyway. So no, how about us off. You? You start all us right. off. So this is going to be kind of in humor, right? This is in pretty much all humor. It's like an SNL skit. We're, oh. Yeah, I doubt we're actually going to ever play these characters. No, no, no. That would be fun. The, the more fun but, thing is just making them and yeah. making them like us. So, uh, for my D&D character, we're going to start off with the stats. Because what better place to start off than the stats? Or your name. Or my name. Uh, it's Noah Stoltz. Wow, Whoa. really? It's almost like you did yourself in D&D. It's almost like I did myself oh, wow. in D&D. It's almost like that's a lot of stuff for my character. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I uh, listen to Billy Eilish. I'm so quirky. I wear long sleeves. I wear long, long sleeves striped shirts under my t-shirts. <laughs> I'm going to pull over my camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull over my camera. So you're starting off with your stats then? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so first I did strength, and I gave myself a 13. So what's that in modifier? What's that in modifier? I think that's a 2. So yeah, plus, two? plus 2? Plus 2 in modifier. Well, you have the, the normal number, the base number, and then the plus, plus the plus number, the modifier that you add to the roll. So it is a, uh, the, it's a plus 1. and um, Plus 1. Yes. Basi- basically, uh, I, I've given myself 13 strength because I think I'm a little bit above average than most people because I, you know. You're I, very thick. I, I work out. I, I'm not. Uh, right. Quads are quite I know. nice. Thank As you'll see in the image, Noah's legs, if you've, like, when you see the concept art for our characters, Noah's legs are very thick. Um, they're, they're quite realistic, I must say. Yeah, they're very thick. I'm working on it. You could just crush th- you could crush skulls with your thighs. <laughs> I probably could. All right, so dexterity. I don't know. Now there's going to be fan art of that Oh, God, I hope so. Crushing skulls. No, right. it's going to be All like right, well, there's your next commission. Fan. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
And uh, I, think, I think wisdom is the next one. And uh, strength, wisdom. I've got it in a strange order. That's um, all right. For for wisdom, I did eleven because I I forget what's the difference between wisdom and intelligence. Again? So wisdom is like your like your knowledge on the whole picture kind of thing, I think, big picture stuff. I think a good way of describing the difference between wisdom and intelligence is. Intelligence is the information you have in your head, and wisdom is knowing what to do with that. Okay, yes. yes knowing like how that. to apply the information. So, uh, okay. I gave myself an 11. Perhaps I, I should have given myself a 2. <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought wisdom was something more like things you don't learn in school. Like, um. Well, yeah. that, that kind of is. I suppose, yeah. I would say it is. I thought, I was, see, the difference is wisdom is like uh, uh, philosophy and stuff like that. That is. Okay. And yeah. intelligence is like stuff like history and math. Yeah. And, and I, like, I would Yes, say I definitely think so, you're okay. accurate with okay. that. Okay, so, anyway, so I'd say 11, 11 So is that a plus zero? Plus one. That would be a plus zero. Plus zero? Plus yeah. zero. Party. I wish, you'd done, I wish we'd done your modifiers on that. Oh, that's okay. For dexterity, I've done 12. Um, I'm not exactly the most dexterous person there is, but I, I do work out a lot, and I, I do go skating a lot, and I, I enjoy being active. I just, I'm not very active all that often, and I wish I was, but, and I, I'm working on that, so hopefully my dexterity score will go up more. Next, I wrote down constitution, which I put for... 16. So constitution is how much you can take a hit? Yeah. I'm kind not... of, yeah, it's how healthy you are. Yeah. That's related to, like... My constitution is plus zero, by the way. <laughs> I, <laughs> For context. Like, if, if someone tried to poison you, how good, how hard would it be to poison you? Like, I imagine, no. I imagine it'd be hard. Uh, because I'm, I'm kind of a, a bigger guy, so more poison. But I'm also, it's, it's more so, I took constitution in terms of how many hits you can take. Yeah. That's also the fact. And I am a yeah. boxer. So I am very good at taking punches, and I, I know I am because, you know, you do let's, sparring. Let's test it. Let's, let's test it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daniel's killing Noah right yeah. now. You can't hear it through the audio. But it's a brutal currently murder. brutalizing him. On the Help floor. me. Oh, my. And oh so my. for intelligence, I've done seven because I am I'm not very good when it comes to things like school and, like, mm. math. I Book failed. Smarts. Yeah. I you, failed math. You got the street smarts. I, I failed math. I did too, and I, uh, I I paid someone to do my math classes for me. So I failed my math too, brother. But that's like the only class. And I, I, I yeah, math's the only class I've really failed. But I'm just I'm not good at all the other classes. Actually, I don't think I've ever failed math. I've just gotten very low D's, like very like sixty percent. That's fair. That's basically failing. But and so for my charisma, I put just a ten. You know, regular standard. Solid. Yeah, solid. Solid ten, I think. You know, not mm. not so bad. So you got good strength and good constitution. Good. Pretty that's, good. Dexterity. Yeah. So I have a question. Did you roll for these, or did you no. just? Well, no, we're making these? them fit to character. Yeah. Okay. I, d- okay. I tried to do mine because I rolled for my own. Oh. Okay. Well, we just. Did I'll, it. I'll edit it a little bit on the fly. All, All right. right. If you want to. Respect. Respect. We're just trying to. So give us your class background, race. You know. So I'll, I'll give my my class first, and I chose a paladin because I, I they're not necessarily holy warriors, although they are usually aligned with some sort of deity. Too they're tall. They're just <laughs> pretty much, but um, they use the, vault, you know. Yeah, they use vault. They use God vault. wills it. That's it. But yeah. no, the the paladin in in the D and D terms is more like a just a guy, you know, an an agent of of order that's trying to kind of do the right thing. And I feel like that's me. You know, I feel like I try to do the right thing a lot, and and I do align myself you know, with God. I am a Christian, so although I'm. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And for for race, I chose human, because I looked through all the other races and I I tried to pick one. I got very close to picking half orc, but there were just too many too many differences. Yeah. So more realistically, your personality and who you are as essentially would line up with being a human. Yes. All right. And are you a male? No, I'm just kidding. Am I a male? Um, probably. So it's what's been your a while background? Since I've checked. Didn't make one, but uh, um. I guess middle class would be a nice term. For... So you'd just be like a white or a blue collar worker. I, I don't know because that's what like background is like what you were or what you had. Middle, yeah. middle class. I've what you were middle... before you started adventuring. I put in finger quotes for those mm. on audio. <laughs> so yeah, I've been mostly middle class my whole life. For those of you who think that's farting, it's actually just the leather seats rubbing <laughs> together because we're so smashed in the studio. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna get a better studio eventually. I can't guarantee that, but I, I really hope so. 
Well, well, maybe you bring a friend to the undercast next week. We can get a better studio. <laughs> I don't know. We don't. We don't monetize the video. Yeah, we don't really care enough to do that. We don't do this for the money, guys. Support us on Patreon. No. <laughs> Hell yeah, Patreon. I don't, I don't think they have a Patreon. I just think, not. I'm not 100. If we ever got to the point where we were, this is just out of view. just. Just send me money in the mail. If like, we I'll were, put oh money. yeah. If yeah. we were ever to get to the point where there were like maybe a couple thousand viewers for some reason, I think we'd probably <laughs> set up. Reason. We'd probably just set up a, a, a Patreon specifically just for upgrading the the way we go about making the podcast mm, which I don't think quality. I could ever monetize because I hate the first I hate the YouTube algorithm and I hate how the whole money system works there and I think Party. it's cheap and gay so so anyway, anyway D&D. But back to the back to the story my alignment is is neutral good um, I chose neutral good that makes because sense. There are a lot of things I won't do because of the law, but there are also things that I will do despite the law. But so it's kind of like a, yeah, a balance, sense. or like a chaotic lawful, maybe. Well, no, that I don't see, know. There are things sense. that I'll still do despite the law, mm-hmm. and there are things that I won't do because of the Actually, law. Actually, those are democracy, an oxymoron. It's it's neutral good. It just depends on yeah. the thing. All right, that makes sense. It's not quite an oxymoron. It depends yeah. on the thing. Um, All right, and. Um, how many hit points do you have, friend? Hit points, huh? Well, uh, 15 for health. and That's pretty good. Yeah, my armor. Mm-hmm. I, Starting uh, level 1 is pretty good. Did yeah. medium yeah, really medium nice. class armor because, you know, I wear boxing gear. That's why I made my real-life D&D character. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. Medium I see. armor class. What's your speed? 45. Wow, that's really good. Well, that's, that's what you told me I should put it as. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess so. We were looking at... What, what I mean, humans would usually have 30 unless you have something to, to beef that up, but, you know, I, I, I guess if I, you've... I run a lot. And, um... All right. All right. Personality traits, I have quirky. Quirky! Not, not really. Um, I thought you were quirky. No. I'm just trying to do the right thing. That's that's my personality trait. You know, I'm just, just gunning to be a positive person as Nikayo takes a, a fake hit out of the fake vape that is really a thumb drive that's sitting on my desk. Sorry, I just had to flex. Like, no, you didn't. Okay. And my ideals are, are Christian and, um, get this, be a good person, as, as I said before. It's pretty litty mctitty. Thank you. I like it. My bonds, um, music and fighting. I really enjoy boxing a lot. I really do. And I also enjoy music a lot. And some of my flaws are I, I can't focus. I have a very hard time focusing, as as you may know from listening to the podcast. That's both of us, though, I think. I'm that's, very argumentative. Because yes, I, that's I, true. You may know that from listening to the podcast. I'm also, get this, an insomniac, but you also may know that from, from listening the to the podcast. Or or if you've just met me in real life, you know, you can see it on my face. Dude doesn't sleep. You don't have bags under your eyes, which is really interesting. Party. Maybe I I've take, just never noticed them because of your glasses. I take care of my face. That's true. Okay. I All right. Don't. My proficiencies are English and Esperanto. Naturally. Me yep. defeas vinam gladiatoria batalo. He just challenged me to gladiatorial combat. I challenged me. everyone to gladiatorial combat. I am taking Esperanto on Duolingo, by the way. And if the bird, the owl, does not come and rape me. Do I not promise forget you. to do your lessons or he will. No, he has never done that. I assure you. It's given me, like, a couple notifications every now and again. But then, like, after three or four days, you just get a notification that's like, hey, these reminders don't seem to be working. We'll stop sending them now. <laughs> that's, uh, that's basically what it And it's so nice. It's, they're, they're it's very polite. nice. But it also kind of makes me feel a little guilty for not Well, because the owl's so cute. He is. He's very cute. He is. Okay, um, pretty, my proceed. Pro- yes, my proficiencies, other than English and Esperanto, are music, um... Because I, I like to write mm. raps and stuff. I feel like Blue I'm... Yeti microphones. Yes, yes, almost like the one we're recording this podcast. <laughs> Yo, all right, guys, shout out to Blue with... Yeti mics. <laughs> Sponsor us, please. Please, bro. <laughs> and um, we got 500 views total. <laughs> boxing, boxing, obviously, because you know I've talked about it so much. I've done, and I've also done jujitsu and wrestling, so I'm somewhat proficient in both of those. As uh, Brayson Johnson could tell you, after I laid him out. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Dude, that's we, awesome. We, we had when a was little, that? We had a little jujitsu match in my basement, and I won. When? Uh, it was a few weeks ago. Why did you tell it me? It was just a jujitsu match. It was nothing. I've, was I've nothing. been waiting to see you guys to brawl it out. For it was me. really. It was really nothing that great. It did you just? Jiu-jitsu. Did you totally lay him out though? We no. We rolled around on the floor, and he kept trying to get me with all these strength moves, and I was too quick. Well, for all him. he does are strength moves. It's great that yeah. you overpowered him with speed. I love that so Party. much. Um, you know, there actually is a, a homebrew class called Pugilist. 
Oh, yes, is it just the uh, the boxing? Yeah, just, it's the it's, gloves of the pugilist. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, an altered monk a little bit in Skyrim. There, but these, it's just like yeah, there are these gloves in in uh, Rift. Yeah, and the, the series called the gloves of the pugilist. Gloves you of the just pugilist. Beat the tar out of people with those. Yeah, I always disenchant those. Like, or I always like like break them apart in the enchanting table so that I can enchant like other things with them. Oh, you know? the pugilist that. things. Yeah. I respect that. Now my my that. equipment is uh, my phone, my wallet, my my glasses, my blue comb, and my, my boxing blue comb. It was your grandfather's comb. It was my grandfather's comb. It's a pretty special comb. And um, that's the end of my my D and D sheet. All right, Daniel. All right. Oh, do you have a? Did you have any like um, background info on yourself, like other than what you? Okay, just making nope, sure. I don't think it. I do either. We we taking a step to me? Yes, we're taking it. We're doing an order. Oh boy! All right, my name is. Kyle. No, I'm just kidding. It's Daniel. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It's Kyle. Oh. Everyone's so confused. Everybody is confused. Is it Kyle? Pretty sure his name's Kyle. It's, I, I, it's, I think so, too. Well, it's one of the two. Um, the so, I am a cleric. All right. Makes sense. Which is basically, like, you know... Uh, he he said it's... it's a Paladin isn't quite, like, a holy warrior... Um, a cleric is like you take the warrior entirely out of a holy warrior, and it's just like a person. Who, you're a priest. Yeah, you're a shotgun a, preacher. No, he just said you take the warrior. No, out. but you're really <laughs> tough and tumble though. It's, no, not yeah, it's it's a it's one of the spell casting classes. So it's like I basically you have strength and, pa- and power. I, I I cast spells through yeah. my god. Basically, I was gonna say that that you're a That's shotgun preacher, works. dude. And mostly, what clerics are known for is healing. Honestly, so that's fair. I'm you're a support. Well, so I'll, I'll read my stats, and I'm kind of altering these a little bit on the fly because I did roll for them, and I didn't really like the rolls. But altering them, I'll 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 fix them a little bit. So my my highest is my wisdom. All right. I, I really feel like I'm tooting my own horn here. You know, when well, you're no, like, it's, it's oh yeah, my reason. highest is this. No, oh, I'm so that's my lowest this. is my wisdom. <laughs> My my highest is wisdom. I feel like I, I I generally make intelligent decisions. A lot of the wisdom things are like I think that would be under intelligence. A lot of the yeah. skills are like medicine, perception, uh, survival, animal handling. So it's like I I I know I have a general like good intuition. I pay attention to things. I I think wisdom is my highest, and my second highest at fifteen is charisma. Because I feel like I... You're very good at improving a, a good conversation. I'm good at Im- improving conversations. Like, I've I've preached a few sermons, and I feel like I feel like my... Guys, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna flex. My... But... But I'm gonna flex. But I'm gonna flex. <laughs> I'm taught a few sermons. No, it's I'm taught a few sermons, guys. If, Crazy irony. If you're being I, honest, is it really a flex? I... Um, no, that's absolutely not a flex. Yeah, I feel like you know I've got good performance, good persuasion. I, I feel like I'm yeah I I'm very much. I'm good at talking to people. Are you good at bashing um, libtards? I'm just kidding. Uh, get that, get that I don't know. I've never ben tried. Shapiro. Um, ben Shapiro just kills libtards wherever he goes. And then right under my charisma, like one point lower, is my intelligence. So. My three highest stats are my intelligence stats. I really feel like my body is not that great. See, if my you got highs, then you can toot the, lor- the horns with the low ones, too. You're yeah, not my, the my, I, I feel like I've, I've allocated most of my attention and stuff on my, on my mind and my... I, I feel like I've, I've focused mainly on... My mind, the way I talk to people, the way I interact. I, I feel like I focus more on my thinking than I do on my own physical body. I'm out of shape, guys. Dude, I got you. Speaking of out of shape, did you ask your mom for a Sprite? I did. Thank you. All right, continue. Yeah. Sprite! Um, so, all of my other stats are going to be, like, significantly lower than this. Which, so That makes sense. You have to be balanced. Yeah, there's... My dexterity is the next lowest, which is uh, an 11, and it's... Are you doing modifiers for that? So that's a plus zero. Yeah. An 11, which is plus zero. My dexterity is probably my highest of the physical stats. I'm just like... 
bad. I am I am just slightly over well, average. Eleven not- eleven is just over average for normal people. So I'm like I'm kind of makes sense for your race. Yeah, I'm flighty a little bit, but more than I am strong or healthy. Um, so my next is Constitution at eleven as well, and that's. Like, just, again, just above average. I'm, like, it's not low, but I'm not super, like, I... A a few hits could take me down. If someone tried to poison me, they'd poison me pretty effectively. Again, you are your race, like... Yeah. Um, And my strength is the lowest at a nine. It's below average. It's minus one? Yeah. It's gonna be minus one. I, I... My strength, I just... I I've, I've lost in arm wrestles to uh like 13 year olds. Well, and I that, I'm, that's I'm 20. So like I mean, Brayson, I'm 21. Brayson so just like just turned 15. That's the strongest one of the strongest people I know other than Noah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not on his level. I've <laughs> He's on another level, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that the dude just the, well, Brayson like walks yeah. in places eating protein. Powder. No, he walks in places <laughs> snorting protein powder. He actually snorts. Right. That's not a joke. He snorts protein oh powder. God, he stirs it. In, he stirs it in his coffee. He has this like consistent backpack wherever he goes. Just whips out protein powder. Starts eating it with his fingers. Yeah, or or with a spoon. Or the spoon. Yeah. The way I look at it, or he'll put is... it in your friend's coffee. Oh like my god! No. Just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to interrupt. The way I look at it is like. Why would I focus on my physical stats? When you could have blood. Because <laughs> why would I focus on my physical stats? Because this body is temporary, honestly. Fact. This body is going to die. You can my make mind, do what you want, my dude. soul will live on forever. So like my intelligence, wisdom, and charisma, I'm good with like. So says your. With, so says your beliefs, retard. Just kidding. Yeah. So says. <laughs> so, so says, says your beliefs, beliefs, cleric. Um, and I believe yeah, that's it for the. That's it for the stats. What's your class? Uh, I, am yeah, I think he said it. He said I'm a oh, I'm sorry. I'm my race, race. My race is race. gnome. You're in I, I am gnome. a I am a rock gnome, which is only one of two variations. There are like forest gnome. gnomes and there are rock gnomes. But the rock gnomes are like they're tinkers. They're known as let me let me look at their features. So are they bearish twinks? The features I get from, <laughs> <laughs> the features I get from rock gnome is like they're kind of bearish twinks. Gnome cunning. You have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saves against magic. Yeah. Um, Artificer's lore. Add twice your proficiency bonus to history checks related to magic items, alchemical objects, or uh, technological devices. Which, like, I I, I like to tinker. I wish I could have made a a job out of that, but, like... I've always enjoyed taking pens apart into, like, every little piece they have and then putting them all back together and, like, even scaling that up to higher things. You, like, you remind me of Garrett in that like way. Like, egg timers and stuff like that. I, I disassembled an entire egg timer that we never used with my family's permission, of course. I and, like, with my I, I disassembled the whole thing. Well, I have a higher wisdom than you. Um, <laughs> well, I have a higher intelligence than you. So you better Well, assume. my wisdom may be faulty, but... Um, what was I gonna say? I like I've disassembled. Like I disassembled the whole thing and then like reassembled it. I, I really like, enjoy I like stuff how you like put that, that into your D&D character. Too. So yeah, I really Tinkered, rock I really gnome. enjoy tinkering and stuff I like that. I can see you as a rock gnome. I feel like my personality relates to rock gnome more so than my physical traits. Like I'm not actually three feet tall. I don't know. But well, he's taller than me. And... Short. No, I'm done. <laughs> You're taller than me, and I'm like five seven. So anyway, uh, and my background is acolyte. I thought about taking entertainer because I I am a worship leader. I, I lead, I lead with guitar and stuff like that. He's your local cool youth pastor guy. I he am my local. local I am the local cool youth pastor. You're not Honestly, a youth pastor, yeah, though. you're a musician. I'm not. Youth but, pastor's assistant. Huh? You, you're, he's assistant to the regional youth pastor. Yes. Um, the regional? I don't know. That's there's an one, office. There's, there's quite anyway. a few down the street. <laughs> I, I got it. He got it. I got, got it. it. I got Kyle, the Kyle office got joke. It. I got the. I got the office joke. Tyler. Anyway, Daniel. Kyle. It's, it's either it's either or at this point. You know, no one knows. It's it's Daniel. He's just, he's just got split. Kyle. He's just got split have, personality. Or it's Kyle, but maybe it's Daniel. Do you Daniel. have an armor Who class? Knows? Like, do you wear armor? Or just armor? Uh, I think my armor class was. Oh yeah, yeah, nine because it okay. was plus my dexterity, which is. Oh no no my my dexterity actually was was plus your constitution plus zero. So my armor class would be ten. All right. It's. It ain't nothing, like, it ain't nothing good. If you try to hit me, you'll probably Speed. hit me. I'm not going to dodge out of the way. 30, 30 feet. Or no, uh, if I was... 
I don't know. Wouldn't a, wouldn't a gnome or halfling be pretty quick? A, a gnome is actually lower. Like the the shorter you are, the lower your actual speed is. Oh, Gnomes, halflings, so like and dwarves then? have twenty five. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe twenty five. I would say twenty five is pretty reasonable for me. Not just because I chose the rock gnome as my race, but because I'm not the fastest guy out there. That makes like, sense. Uh, in a in a full sprint, I'm not gonna be. Um, Talking about race, that'd be really interesting to know what his class and race are. Uh, my hit points aren't that high at all. What's I'm, your HP? Uh, nine in this. You've got one below me, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm, I ain't, I ain't super strong. I ain't super, you know, beefy, but I'm okay with that. Do you have any Pers- languages? Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, personality traits. Oh, right, right, right. I have. It also asked for my all of my like physical description and stuff oh, like uh-huh. that. So, gender male, uh-huh. age really? twenty one. Okay. Uh, my height is five six. I actually measured myself for this. <laughs> my weight is one ninety, which that's a little high for me. I wish it were. I wish it were lower. I'm trying to lose weight. I, I weigh one ninety. Uh, well, I'm five six, and you're taller than me. So my no. my skin is fifty shades of white. Fifty shades of white, huh? Um, I'm five six. Maybe we're the same height then. Ooh. Um, makes and I have uh, blue eyes, ah, dirty blonde hair. Okay. So, uh, personality traits. I I stole all of these from the acolyte background, but I feel like they all relate to me pretty dang well. Okay, so, that's good. That's what we're going for. I can find common ground between the fiercest enemies, empathizing with them, and always working towards peace. Good. So, like, when you ask. If if when you asked before we actually started recording if I'd made my weapons kind of modernish, yeah, I was like, I don't know, I don't really carry weapons. At most, it's going to be like a bow staff if I'm going on a walk to defend myself from wild dogs. But car keys, yeah, car keys. It's it's not anything crazy. It's mostly what I have on me. I I like to to make peace with my enemies. That's fair. I like um, that. ideals change. We must help bring about the changes that God is constantly working in the world. I definitely so fits with your clarity. That that fits with my alignment yeah. the, of chaotic good too. So like everything, my alignment is chaotic good because I believe that change or I believe that freedom is re- a really big necessity. Like, my my biggest ideal as a human being is probably everyone should have the right to do whatever they want to do as long as it doesn't take away anyone else's same right. So, in little things, basically, I have the right to come here and record this podcast as long as it doesn't invade Noah's right to keep his house safe from people I think who just those, want to I, I think those should be the only laws we have. <laughs> Very yeah. conservative, but... Anyway, that's 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 how I feel. It's it's rather chaotic, and it's... I, I believe I'm chaotic good, because I don't think anyone believes they're actually evil, but... Eh, I think we I, all have it within us. We you do. See, have you seen for... Scarface? Scarface was a good guy. No, he wasn't. At I, all. I have was. not seen. No, Scarface, he wasn't a good guy at all. He killed people and sold drugs. He, I was just gonna say he's a coke dealer, <laughs> but he he says he's the bad guy. He says so. Say or everybody everybody's a bad guy. I think Scarface. It's just you just pretend to be the good guys. So and okay. you need someone to hate, so you point your fingers at me. So say goodnight to the bad guy. Okay, the, the reason guy. he killed was because a homie slept with his sister. That's not why he died. No, that's why he killed. Well, it's one of the he movies. just killed random people. Like, there was a dude who's like, I'll so. give you a few thousand dollars to go. I think it was at the beginning of the movie. He just murdered someone because someone asked him to. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I haven't seen this movie, so. It's a wonderful movie. All right. I, do I you will have some point. Bonds and Flaws? Uh, bonds and Flaws. Everything I do is for the common people, or I guess a better way to describe that would be everything I do is for the people around me. The, Sounds like the, communism. It's it's not so much. It's a joke. It's not communism. <laughs> Um, Commonwealth. Like, everything... Pretty much everything I try to do... Like, I take time for myself, but only... Only for the reason of... I know I need to be at my best when I'm helping other people. You know? Alright. I really like to help other people. 
and honestly, I think that's how I recharge myself. That's how I take care of myself. There's an interesting is by helping other people. So there's that's, an interesting philosophy around that. Is you know people always say you need to work on yourself before you can help other people. There was this man I I know his first name was Nits Nitschi or something like. Oh, I uh, 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 it's fine. Nietzsche. But, Friedrich Nietzsche. No, right? Friedrich no, Nietzsche. That's not who. But um, it's like she? the the idea that when you're in an airplane and the the oxygen masks drop, they tell you put on your own mask first before helping someone else. I mean that's not what I heard, but um, it's the the philosophy I, I heard was was actually um, <clears throat> if you and a friend are both bald to different change and they have different locks, and you have the key to your friend's chain, but your friends and have the key to your chain then why should you both suffer even though you're both in that bad condition mm. you still help your friend but you know you can't really get help and you're not in a good position either i agree with that more than uh help yourself before you help others That's... work on yourself i agree with that philosophy mm. um, yeah it's just an interesting I if you can, I, I also don't think two train wrecks equal anything good though but yeah at the same time it's like the, the, the reason they tell you to put on your own oxygen mask in an airplane... So you can survive to help people. Is, yeah. Like, if if you if you try to help someone else put on their oxygen mask, like a child or something like that, you will have, like, legitimately forgotten how to put on an oxygen mask by the time you have a hold of theirs and trying to put it on their face. Right. You put on your oxygen mask first, so you have the wherewithal to fix someone else's problems. But you need to make sure that you are healthy and good and in the right condition before helping someone else. I guess it just depends on the situation you're in. So my bond is, you know, everything I do is for the common people, but I... So, like, I do take time for myself. I do help myself. I do take care of myself, but only in as much as it... as it helps me help other people, if that makes sense. Do you have any flaws? Uh, no, I do not. I'm perfect. Oh, okay. Um, that sounds like a flaw to me. One of the flaws, one of the flaws that I actually wrote down is, once I pick a goal, I become obsessed with it to the detriment of everything else in my life. And this is incredibly true So of perfectionism. Not so much. It's like, well, let's use D&D as an example. Well, I, I would think that'd be fitting for this episode. <laughs> that would be fitting for this episode. Recently, you know, I've started running a game of D&D for these two fools. Um, yeah, there's a couple more of us, though. And so a couple just, more in the group. I've, like started, I've started running a game for these guys, and it feels like I've really fallen down the rabbit hole of D&D. It feels like I, I, I... That's pretty much all I do at this point, <laughs> which is unfortunate. It's, it's yeah. become a detriment at so this point because... So you're easily to be consumed. Exactly, exactly. I become obsessed with things easily, and I... I'm not I'm not good at like having multiple things on my mind. Well, if I'm obsessed with one thing, it's going to take over a lot of other things in my life. That and makes you a damn good DM though. It's un it it's does, unfortunate. But, but it's unfortunate for, for unfortunate like every for us, though. It's unfortunate for every other aspect of my life. <laughs> but anyway, like you said, that's, helping the good that's, of the people, it heads good for us. <laughs> that's a flaw of mine and I do need to work on it, but I I do I do become obsessed with things and think about very little other than those things. Yes. I compare everything else to D and D in in my life at this point. I do that, which sometimes. is unfortunate. Maybe it, it's it's there for a purpose, though. At this point in your life, sure, sure. And then eventually, my obsession with D and D is going to fade as I gain an obsession with something else. D and D is still going to be an important part of my life, but well, like because we're in the campaign. Yeah, we're in the we're in the I'm long gonna, stretch now. But I'm going to become obsessed. We're with the end game now. I'm going to become obsessed with something else, and it's that's going to take over a lot of other things in my life, and I'm going to start comparing everything to that, and it's going to annoy all the people around me. But Understandable. Yeah. What is your equipment? Uh, I, <laughs> Understandable. I, I didn't, like, modernize my equipment. Fedora. So, like, fo <laughs> yes. Fedora If you glasses. just want me to list everything I usually carry on me, Fedora I would say, glasses. like... Phone, wallet, keys, fedora, glasses, and com your vans. Common clothes, some a nice sweet pair of custom vans, which you guys can't see, but they are nice. Trust me. Vans are um, not nice, though. Well, okay, I think you should go commit neck rope. 
<laughs> Beard. And then, like, Kill me at yourself, most, when it comes to weapons, it's going to be, like, a bow staff. It's, okay. It's, it's like... You're one of those kind of guys, huh? Carry it's, that bow staff it's on a you staff. in 2020, 2019, whatever Not year it is. Only occasionally. You only, tote, tote only that if thing. I'm, like, going on a walk around my house, which, like, I live out, I live way out in Pueblo West. I have some bluffs next to my house. Oh, you lock the bluffs with your bow staff? So, yeah, I just walk around the bluffs with my bow staff, and we have a few... Do you have a legitimate bow staff? Kind of, yeah, I don't know if much. I've gained or lost respect in you. But, like, there are dogs around. There are some dogs that I'm not 100% Let's just call it a walking, sure. Let's just call it a walking stick. Just call it a walking stick. I'm going to be a lot less... Yeah, but yeah there's, just call it a walking stick for your reputation. There there are some uh, of dogs around the house, or along the, around my neighborhood, that I'm not 100% sure I trust them to not attack me. My mom got bit by a dog the other so, week. So. I'm like, yeah, I'll carry a stick with me to whap a dog in the face if I need to. Yeah. But only if I need to. I'm not just going to go around whapping dogs in the face. Now, I am all I am all for beating animals, but no, it's a joke. <laughs> Sorry, Jay just heard that and got offended. All right, so what else do you have here? Do you have proficiency languages? I think that's um, the last bit. Language. Languages, for me, it's going to be English. Esperanto. Esperanto. Yes. Well, I think all three Esperanto. of us. Have, all three of us have Esperanto. And uh, uh, sign language. Because Esperanto is cool. Do you have ASL? Oh yeah. L. ASL is American Sign Language is one of my many passions. Can you demonstrate? Oh your yeah. Sign language? Oh the audio. Yeah. Would you yeah. demonstrate yeah. for the audience? Can you can you put your finger next to the mic and do some do some letters? Oh yeah. I'll I'll finger spell my name next to the microphone. That That's was really, really quick. Cool. That's really that was so, very yeah, quick. I, well, very I've, I've practiced. Well, I should spell Ringo spell my last name too. So here's my first and last name. Yo, cool, Mr. You're Bostaff. very, you're Oof. very proficient. I feel yeah. like you could twirl a pen between your fingers. Quite I, proficiency. Well, I need to to learn that. Here, I'm gonna do it. Too. I need to learn how to do that. You just, you're just <laughs> flicking. Yeah, you're just flicking your fingers spelling around. Spelling things. Okay. Facts. So now it's Nikaya's turn. And we're only 40 minutes in. Only 36 minutes and 37 seconds in. Oh, wow. I'll be quick. I'm sorry. No, it's no that's okay. I took a whole that's, bunch of time. I, I took a lot of time. It's our own fault for wanting... Because it's supposed <laughs> to be a meaningful episode where we get into our our personalities, but also have a nerdy affinity for D&D. Yeah. It's supposed to be a double-edged sword. So it's our fault for the subject being long. So I'll try to be kind of quick. So my name's Nikaya. Is it? Really? Thank you. Thank you. What's uh, your last name? Shepard. Oh, really? Yes. Shakayo Nepal. Like the pie? Um, like Nakao Shepard Nakao Shepard Nikaio like, pie? Like Shepard's pie? Oh, I no. thought you meant Nakao Shepard's, Shepard's pie. pie. Nakao no, Shepard's no, pie. No, I mean Shepard's Don't touch my pie, I will kill you. I eat Shepard's pie all the time. Do you really? It's yes. freaking delicious. I don't have you ever had it at Shamrock? Have you ever had Miner's pie? No. It's like sweet on one half, like savory on the other. It's an Irish, Scottish, I think, tradition. No, you have uh, two sides to it. So you have a yeah. dessert, and then you have a. Huh. I like, it was I made like, for miners. That's I like interesting. Like buffalo the, chicken, um, bu- buffalo chicken shepherd's pie. Ooh. It's it's mashed potatoes, vegetables, and chicken just like baked into one thing, and it's like they're all mixed together, and it's it's wonderful. Pretty. So pretty my race tasty. is half elf. It really is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> back to D and D. So my race is uh, buffalo yep. wings. No. Uh, <laughs> is it shepherd? Your race is shepherd. Yes. Race is half elf. That's my background. No, I'm just kidding. Half elves are one of the taller races, so I, I don't no, see. I, no, I'm kidding. No, I'm a, I'm a half elf. I have a half wood elf, so that means I'm pretty short. All right. Um, I'm like I'm five six. I'm five six in game, as in real life. Five six, five seven, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um, my class is bard. Uh, I Ooh. think that makes sense. Yep. Um, I have a little flute that I play in real life. It's a bo- <laughs> in real life it's a box drum. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's even on my equipment. I don't even have flute. I, the drawing that Will made has me carrying a flute. Do you just carry a box but, drum? But I have box drum in my... Do you carry that's a what box I play. drum around? It, sometimes. Let's just strap it to your back. I would do that. So my background is writer. Like author, writer. Okay. Just writer. I wouldn't say... It. Like author, does that mean you have to like write books if you're author? If yeah. you're author, I would say I would say yeah. That's a little so bit writer, more like... Writer's more broad. Yeah. I give myself writer. or And, yeah. and, and performer. We grant you the gift of writer. Thank you. I have proficiency in writer. Oh. <laughs> no, that's we not. Proficiency with a pen. We grant you the gift. Or the, and I don't. My handwriting is awful. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's appalling. Um, no, my background Proficiency is, with a keyboard. It's writer and, and performer. My alignment is chaotic neutral. Yep. Um, I feel like that describes you pretty well. 
So stats, my strength is a 10, which is a plus 0. That was mediocre. Oof. Dexterity that's... is a 14. That's plus yeah, 2. I feel like it's... Pretty quick. Yeah, I'm very, quick. I'm very slippery. Dexterous. You can get out of things pretty easily. That goes for... Stealthy if, if you want to be. Yes. Um, that would be usually not, though, by myself. I am pretty loud. Pick so, pocket. yes. I've done that before. Oh. Not, like... I just took a friend's phone. And oh, okay. Just tear your cool. paper. I, I tore, like, you know the little eyelets on the oh, side? Man. I tore, like, the little side of that. I do that. Sometimes I bite it off. I don't eat it, though. Okay. Okay, silence. That's um, based on your That's based on your uh, your flaw, isn't it? it? Yes, eating paper. No. Um, is that a flaw, or is that a survival skill? <laughs> <laughs> I'd count that as a survival skill. Eating, you're just eating a plant. No, I thought your flaw was Tourette's. That's one of them, actually. Oh, okay. Mild Tourette's, but um, we'll get into it. My constitution is 11, which is plus zero. Yep. Um, my intelligence is a plus three. That's 16. Yep. My wisdom is a nine, which is a negative one. Uh, my charisma is 17, and that's a plus three. So All right. I'm good at intelligence, charisma, and somewhat dexterous. This kid freaking knows his stuff. Like, like he's, he's, he's very intelligent guy. I'm an intellectual. I can only talk to Rick and Morty viewers. Oh. Yeah. If you don't watch Rick and Morty, you're not part of my associative people <laughs> I associate with. My, my, oh. my Christian Minecraft server. You're, part, you're not part of my Christian mind. No one do you looks like Rick Looks like the podcast just got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are not intellectual. I don't remember no, the last just, time I I'm watched. No, I'm just saying. I don't watch Rick and Morty. I don't remember oh. the last time I watched Rick and Morty. Oh. I don't. It's been. Yeah. It's been a while. I don't think they've released a new season, they so not. I have nothing to watch. Exactly. Um, you know, Daredevil is pretty good. I like the first two episodes, and I haven't proceeded it because I'm lazy. I honestly. watched first half of the first episode, and I was like, "This is boring." No, oh, don't you say that around no one. <laughs> you're, you're. I don't like Daredevil. I, I am not. I honestly couldn't get through a whole episode. That's I'm what sorry. They, okay, have you seen... Everyone... Have you watched The Office? I have. And you realize it's how good. boring the first two seasons were. The first two seasons were trash, and the rest of it's amazing. It's a full ten. But the first two seasons were like a four, right? You, you get that. Um, let's see where I... Third season's the best in Daredevil. Mm. Mm-hmm. My HP is a ten. Ooh. I have ten health points. It's one above Daniel. All right, so one, two, two three, three, four... four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm knocked out. One more, and I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's been a murder on the podcast. There's been a murder on the podcast. And the dead guy is still talking, which podcast. is weird. So that's part of my flaws. So oh, okay. Oh, you just. Talk I have post mortem uh, <laughs> speech. That's actually probably a a personality. That's my, that's what makes me quirky. Um, personality trait. <laughs> so one of my quirks. So my weapons. The only weapon I have listed is car keys. Oof, because it's really all I have. It does. Can Can you demonstrate this weapon for us? I don't have my car keys on me. So all right, I'm well, gonna... I'll demonstrate it. All right, sound effects guy. It's, guy, it's a... almost like it's a car key. All right, no, get over here. I have a. So. Ow! Ooh, I've been assaulted. <laughs> okay, I just. It didn't, it didn't go past my constitution. How many eight? How, oh, did it not defeat no. your armor class? No. Uh, I got to roll for that. <laughs> okay, so my personality traits are. Spontaneous, impulsive, sensitive, and irritable. Yep. My ideals are loyalty and friendship. My bonds, music, hair, style, writing, history, and friends. Oh. Aww. Um, <laughs> my, my bonds? The N-word. No, is sure. like... The N-word passes like music, it. hair, style. Hairstyle. Hairstyle! <laughs> <laughs> hairstyles, <laughs> Harry Styles. Ooh. I I have a big affinity for Harry Ryan Styles. Styles. Who is that? Okay, never mind. I like That's Harry fine. Styles. Is Ryan Styles his brother? No, ben Shapiro. No, he's, he's oh Ben improv- Shapiro. <laughs> he's one of the record lip tarts since '92. He was one of the uh, improv actors on uh... Ryan Styles. Yeah, was on, it, oh, on oh, whose line is it video? anyway? Yeah. Okay, I know who you're talking about. Okay, what well, uh, flaws? I'm stubborn. I'm sensitive. Um, ADHD and Tourette's. Okay. But the both of the ADHD and Tourette's are quite mild, so they're very a minor flaw. They're just kind of annoying, and they're there. Oh, Let's kind see. of like you. Yes, uh-huh. absolutely. Uh-huh. That's correct. <laughs> uh-huh. You have hurt my feelings. <laughs> One of my personality Done traits through is, love. Done through love. I'm not. I'm sensitive and I'm irritable. What oh, you just said. Okay. 
Do you want to hug? Yeah. Okay, yeah, if he's he didn't, pretty gay. That was a, okay, now hold on here. <laughs> One of my flaws is homosexuality. You gotta pray the gay away, dude. One of his flaws is uh, homophobe, so, you know. Wait, That's not so a are you flaw. scared of me? No, I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. You should be. I'll flute you to death. I'll box drink. Toot toot! Toot toot! Alright, so. My language proficiencies are English, Spanish, and Esperanto. Ooh. This white boy knows his L lingo. I don't actually know if lingo Ling is. What? Lingvon. Is that what it or is? Or ling lingvo, actually. Is that Esperanto it's, for yeah. lingo? Yeah. Or language? Uh, language, yeah. I, I'm still learning Esperanto, so it's not a quite a proficiency in language of. You're just, you're just in the process. Yeah. All right, so my armor class is an 11, so basically not that much of anything. My speed's 35, a little bit above average, not quite Noah at yep. all. Noah's still 10 Sprint. above me. Sprint! Mm -hmm. um, quick. Let's see my equipment. Did you do? Did you guys do your currencies for equipment? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I think I had like 15 bucks. Mine's like I 30. I didn't put any. I, I just made up a number. Let's, let's see. Like a realistic amount of cash I carry, 30 bucks. How many? All right. They're trying to flex on us again, I see. Breaking uh, it's the... probably not going to be too much of a flex. Oh, I actually got 32. Yeah. What? Dang. 32! That's how much what? I have. Well, I said 30, but I have 32 um, in my sheet. All right, so my equipment, box drum, phone, keys, wallet. I got skinny jeans, baseball tee, flannel, and a skateboard. Whoop. 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 And Ooh. dude, that's about it. That's about right. it. That, that covers right. our, our real life D and D. Does characters. this conclude episode yes of the undercast? Episode yes of the undercast is now Ooh. coming to a conclusion. Thank you for sticking around for an hour. <laughs> How long has it actually been? Minutes. It's been? Oh, forty six. That's not too bad. That's not that's what not, we're that's with, not, that's with, not with so commercials. Bad. It's only an hour. Well, we don't have commercials. Uh, what? Well, then it's only forty five minutes. Yeah. We're not cheapskates. We don't. Yeah. Monetize ourselves. It says you. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. All thank right. you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for spending your Thursday with us. Um, and we will see you next week. Also, look out for Instagram. See our our <laughs> no one eyes. D and D characters. We Party. don't have Kyle's though. Party. Trip. All right, guys. With me. Maybe we can have it out by Thursday. Maybe. I'll ask Will. All right. See you Party. guys. Party.